October 1st, 1982. Disney fans all over the world are preparing for the grand opening of the long-awaited Epcot, and with it, the reveal of the largest freestanding sphere in the world, Spaceship Earth. Some of you may know it as the Epcot Ball, but regardless of what you'd like to call it, let's ask the question, what did it take to bring such an ambition to life? This 16-minute Omnimover-based ride takes its guests through space and time, allowing them to see the closest they can to first-hand the advancement of humankind. On their journey, they see inventions and the way those inventions came to be, later being encouraged to contribute to the world in a similar fashion. Narrated by Judy Dench, Spaceship Earth has truly become a gem in modern Epcot. Standing at a staggering 180 feet and taking up a total of 150,000 square feet, this marvel of architecture leaves its guests to pale in comparison to its sheer size. Spaceship Earth was built out of two separate geodesic spheres, one for the show building inside and one for the beautiful exterior we all see today. A unique water drainage system makes it impossible for guests to get rained on at any point while under the building. So next time you're trying to omit the terrible Florida torrents, be sure to thank the Phoenicians above you for keeping you dry. Animatronics are expensive, so to cut costs, Disney often reuses old molds on their new attractions. In this instance, many molds were taken from the Hall of Presidents. Some of these, um, acting credits include Teddy Roosevelt as the Egyptian priest and Roman senator, John Adams as the writing monk, and you know what, there's so many of them, I'll just post them on the screen and you can pause if you'd like to take a look. Number 4. Historical Accuracy With help from the Smithsonian Institute and multiple universities, Disney Imagineers were able to keep the sets and props true to history, even down to the hieroglyphics on the walls of the Egyptian temple. And finally, number 5. Big Time Credits What would this episode be if I were to forget to mention the great minds and voices who contributed to this attraction? American author and screenwriter Ray Bradbury was in charge of the project and its Imagineers. Spaceship Earth has gone through a variety of narrators over the years, so let's go through their names and their famous acting or voicing credits. Starting in 1982, we have Larry Dobkin, who was famous for his roles in North by Northwest, Star Trek, and The Ten Commandments. Replacing him in 1986, we have Walter Cronkite, who was known to be the CBS Evening News host for 14 years. In 1994, he was then replaced by Jeremy Irons, who is most well known as the voice of Scar from The Lion King. And finally, in 2007, we have our beloved Judy Dench. Thanks for making it this far in the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and write thanks Venetians in the comment section below. If you have a cool fact on Spaceship Earth, it would be much appreciated if you left it there as well. As always, a very merry on birthday to the most of you, and I hope to see you next week. Thank you.